Question 20. A student devised an experiment to find the concentration of sulfuric acid in a sample of battery acid. A measuring cylinder was used to add 10 cm cubed of the battery acid to a volumetric flask. Distilled water was added up to the 250 cm cube mark. A sample of the acid was then transferred into a volumetric flask. From the volumetric flask to a conical flask used in a pipette. A few drops of methyl orange indicator. It tells you about methyl orange indicator, by the way. It says methyl orange indicator is red in acid. So when you put the methyl orange indicator into the battery acid in the conical flask, it's going to be red. Um, and then it was titrated against sodium hydroxide. Now, sodium hydroxide is an alkali or a base. So you always use an acid and a base in the titration. Uh, and so the sodium hydroxide is going to slowly neutralize the acid and at the point of neutralization then the methyl orange indicator it says it goes yellow um, on neutralization once you've got uh, a neutral solution or a slight excess of the alkali in the um, conical flask the titration was repeated several times but concordant results that's where no more than uh, where well, there's no more, uh, no larger than 0.1 between any 0.1 centimeter cube between any of the two two titrations, and that wasn't obtained. What suggestion could be improved to uh, use to improve the chances of obtaining concordant time titers? So, inverting the volumetric flask to help dissolve the battery acid, that's a good idea. Washing the pipette, um, well, you don't wash the pipette, you don't wash the burette, you might wash the conical flask, but you don't wash anything used to deliver accurate concentrations. So, uh, something like the pipette will dilute the solutions, that's going to introduce that error. Adding extra indicators, no, that's, that's, that's not a good idea, that introduces extra error. Uh, more concentrated sulfuric acid in the burette means less is delivered from the burette, and so you're getting smaller volumes uh, delivered from the burette. Now, to increase accuracy and to lower percentage error, you want more from the burette, not less. So your answer is A. Which suggestion about rinsing the conical flask between each titration would improve uh, increase in the accuracy of the titrations? Well, you'd rinse the, the conical flask. You, you can rinse the conical flask because that's not used to deliver um, either the acid or the alkali. Let's just use the container for the acid and alkali to come in and neutralize each other. So you want to keep that clean, you wash it with water. So rinse them with water, other solutions. Now you don't introduce any of the reactants, the acid or the alkali, into the conical flask. That's just going to alter the, the um, increase um, the error. You don't want to you, you don't want to introduce any any of the reactants into the conical flask. They come from uh, the burette and from the initial uh, 25 centimeter cube that's pipetted into the conical flask you don't ask add any any of the the, the reacting chemicals together into there uh, and rinsing is a good idea to ensure the flask is clean so your answer is c which suggestion would reduce the overall uh, measurements so um, You'd use um, using less concentrated reactants in the burette means that you need a larger volume to deliver the same amount of moles, so the percentage share is reduced. So your answer A is a good idea using less concentrated alkali in the burette. So less concentrated alkali means that you've got to deliver more of the alkali to get the same number of uh, moles from the burette, moles of alkali, uh, and a larger volume means less of an error because remember percentage error is the error in the apparatus which is fixed the error in the burette which might be plus or minus 0.1 centimeter cube let's say divided by the volume that's actually delivered so if you increase the volume delivered the amount that comes out of the burette by using a more dilute solution then your percentage error comes down because this is a fixed number a constant divided by a large number uh, divided by a large number means the percentage error comes down which of these is important to ensure that the student's apparatus is safe? Um, wearing gloves. So wearing gloves, battery acid's corrosive, so you'd wear gloves and goggles. Um, washing your hands isn't going to, um, st won't, won't protect you if the battery acid's corrosive and going to burn. Uh, there's no fumes produced. Um, carry the burette horizontally when, well, I mean, it might help you when you, to stop you dropping the burette. But uh, most importantly is to stop the corrosive battery acid burning your skin's skin and getting into your eyes. So the answer is B. Which colour change observed at the end point of each titration? Well, it's acid in the flask to begin with, and then it's neutralised and might go slightly alkali. You had a slight excess of alkali, so it's going to go red to yellow, and it tells you that in the question.